now to travel and we will be announcing the winner of our trip to Oregon very shortly. But first, we are talking Hawaii. And it's no secret that Hawaii's iconic Waikiki Beach is a firm favourite of New Zealand holidaymakers. But Debbie's back with a different suggestion. Morning, Debbie. Good morning. Well, Hawaiian Airlines, of course, have upped their number of flights from Auckland. So, eight and a half hour flight will get you to Paradise, Honolulu Airport. My suggestion is, rather than going right to the touristy side of Oahu, go straight to the North Shore. Take a look. Waikiki may be a real tourist mecca for Hawaii, but the real Hawaii is just an hour up the road, and today we're checking it out with North Shore Eco Tours. Oh, here's my ride right now. Morning, kia ora. Hey, can I hop in? Awesome. Ooh, that was perfect timing. Let's go. Waikiki um, has its charm, but uh, really out here in Waialua, this is kind of what uh, I think most people uh, tend to think of when they think of Hawaii, right? It's, um, you know, out here is more country, more open air, you know, less uh, buildings, um, you know, beautiful beaches all the way, you know, down the coastline. And then you have open mountain resources like this too. So. It's a bumpy ride, but we're in safe hands or on safe wheels. She said bath. That's what you said, right? The nice thing is that they're obviously, you know, military grade, so they're very rugged. Um, even though these trucks are old, this one was born, I think, in 1973. Wow. Yeah. And his name is Lepo Ula. Oh, what does it mean? Lepo Ula means red dirt. <laughs> and it's covered in it, so. Uh, yeah, exactly. So it's a perfect name for it. We're hiking a short loop through 13,000 acres of conservation land, learning about the trees and enjoying a swim along the way. Really, if you want to get a true sense of Hawaii, then you have to, you know, interact with and learn about you know, nature. So we believe that the voice also has money. So when we chant, when we sing, when we, you know, uh, even when we speak, we can actually have a, a, a real you know, interaction, right, with, with our surrounding area. The nice thing about Haleiwa is, uh, you know, like I said before, it's a very uh, laid-back town, very country, you know, kind of town. So the architecture is, is charming, but, you know, it just kind of focuses on, on very casual and small, you know, boutique shops and things like that. So all the locals go to Aoki Shevice because there's no lines. There's only going to be, there's only going to be locals and then New Zealanders, I guess, uh, <laughs> after this. Right. That's, yeah. a, that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Take time to check out the roadside craft stores and food trucks. Hello. But if there's one thing that Oahu's North Shore is famous for, it's its stunning beaches and this gorgeous Waimea Bay Beach marks the start of 11 kilometres of equally stunning beaches that way. Including Turtle Beach, where you'll see Hawaiian green sea turtles eating seagrass in the breaking waves. Today, we're at Gunstock Ranch to become part of Hawaii's history and its future by planting a miro tree in Oahu's first Hawaiian legacy forest. So our hope for this project is that we will be able to leave Oahu as what it once was before people came and settled. So before we started meddling with the ecosystem, we have just about a thousand acres out here and we've dedicated 550 acres to reforestation, so over half of our property. We are very into this. <laughs> we are very, very invested. <laughs> the nice thing about the Milo is that it grows really fast. And so we're, we're talking about the Milo kind of being a backbone for our forest. So your mana can actually be transferred from you to other things using water as a vector. Almost everybody that goes and plants a tree, it becomes a very emotional thing to them. And, and it, it's just pretty neat to watch. And it, I've been doing it for a couple years now that I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> but it's so wonderful to see, see people touched by just being able to touch the earth and, to, and put that life into the earth and know that that tree is gonna be there for, for years and years to come. We're staying at the stunning Turtle Bay Resort where every room has a sea view. And get out on the water with possibly the only surf lesson in the world where the instructor has four legs. He's got a special quality. Here it is. He's a dog. 
95 plus percent of our participants, it's their very first time surfing, getting on a board, riding on a wave. Smile. <laughs> Woo! Doing it! Woo! Okay. I think I was surfing for about, what, a split second? Yeah? I think so. Oh, that dog is amazing. <laughs> so cool. Better surfer than I am, actually. Yeah, yeah. And, and thanks to Hawaiian Airlines, too, we can now announce the winner of our huge trip to the US competition. Debbie, do you want to do the honours? I'd love to, thank you. We had thousands of entries, so thank you to everyone who entered. But our lucky winner of that Intrepid Travel Oregon Discovery Tour is... Beryl Robinson. Congratulations, Beryl. Oh, amazing. Oh, this is where the, you know, the glitter cannon goes yeah. off and everything. Oh, that's awesome. Well done. Well done, Beryl. And I thank you, Deb, for all of those amazing holidays that you've taken. Oh, I, know it's work. I know it has actually worked. Now, congratulations, Beryl. Our travel team enjoyed that real aloha spirit with Hawaiian Airlines. Hawaiian Airlines make it really easy to island hop or to continue on to the U.S. mainland. You could even fly into one city and out of another for a tri-destination U.S. holiday. Go to hawaiianairlines.co.nz to book your flights.